When that picture was taken, I was nine years old. In the Vietnam War, I saw the fire everywhere around me. My clothes were burned off. I saw all the fire over my left arm. During that time, I suffered a lot, not only physical, mentally, emotionally. She had that level of pain for more than 30 years. And then as she's undergone fractional laser treatments, the pain goes down. Now I feel like a miracle. I'm so thankful that he spent his time to make that impact to help people who really need help. My greatest pleasure is knowing that I've really helped somebody else. I'm not an entrepreneur. I am more of a scientist, inventor, physician who just cares about actually solving people's problems. I'm now a dermatologist, but honestly, I define dermatology as the skin and everything in it. In bits and pieces, I truly fell in love with the idea of working on human disease and human problems. There are many examples where you end up with abnormal scar tissue that can be normalized by fractional laser treatment. What got me started with this was the problem of how to treat children with abnormal small blood vessels in their skin. This is the first example that led to a new laser just built for medicine. Prior to that, all of the lasers in medicine were basically taken from industry. The majority of the lasers we use was brought to our field by rocks. Pulse dye laser is used by millions of people worldwide daily to treat kids who have uh, birthmarks and also the laser for the scar treatment. So it's made a huge impact. One thing you learn about Rox is that he loves children. He feels like you ch make a change in their lives early on, you change the entire trajectory of their life. Ross has the purpose in his life to do something, to give, to help children, to people, healing them. I go to Vietnam every year. This is about going and teaching and providing technology that they absolutely had no access to. We've got so many unsolved problems. What it comes down to is solve the problem, wherever they may be, with whatever tools you can think of to do so. That's that's what invention's about.